final matchup features the number two seeded Calumet St. Joseph Prince and Wade. And your number one seeded and number seven ranked St. Xavier Cougars! At this time, if you're able to, please rise and kindly of remove your hands as we honor the USA with the play of our national weapon.
What is up, Cougar Nation? It is Aaron here today with you this beautiful afternoon. Another afternoon of some great volleyball to be seen here at the Shannon Center with the San Xavier Cougars, ranked number seven, going up against How You Met College in St. Joseph, the Crimson Wave. Both teams getting ready to start here. Just yesterday, the semifinals, both of these teams battled it out. Down ref doing all the checks, making sure both teams are ready to go. Just yesterday, Calumet College of St. Joseph went to a nice five-setter game with ONU to beat them out, come here to the final championship. Calumet St. Joseph championship. Going up to serve Pedro Castillo of Calumet. Good serve. Number 15, Diego Antunez with the kill. Off the block touch. Serve is out of bounds. Up to serve is Jan Lopez. Let's see what he has for Calumet. So it's over. Drew mm. Ellers, the fifth year, 6'8 middle blocker from Plainfield, Illinois, with the block. Yana to serve again. Mm. Number six, Francis Hawes with the kill from the back row. He had quite the game yesterday against Owen Neal. We'll see how it does today. Kelly met in the net. Alessandro Gianotti coming in for the Cougars. Andres Vela is back to serve. Number 11, Thomas Garbut in the game. Back to serve their libero, Gustavo Medina. The set to Matt Pinala. Shanium's coming in to block for Christian Oviedo. Mr. California back to serve. Back to serve for the Crimson Wave, Diego Antunez. Quick side out for the Cougs, set to Matt Pinala. In for the Cougars, and serving Cameron Daniels. 
freshman out of Nebraska. Let's see what he can do. Good serve over. And no answer back. Cameron Daniels back out to serve again. Back to serve for the Crimson Wave, number six, the Francis Hawes. Yan able to find the touch on the block there. He was points. We're seeing Jake McLean enter in to go back to serve. So he can do, let's see what he can do behind the service line. Number three, Gio Eli Iancano, back in. Back to serve, middle block of Thomas Garbutt. Service is out. Out of bounds, come on Cougars! Back to serve is Christian Oviedo. In this setup, actually, Cameron Daniels is playing in the middle back defensive position. Well, he is a natural setter. It's interesting to see the little tactics that Coach Tom Ryan has the Cougars doing. Number 10, Pedro Castillo, serves into the net. Back to serve, Jan Lopic. From Krakow, Poland, far from home. to serve, Daniel Lopez, number eight. That one sails out. Contact did it wrong just by a few millimeters. That's all it takes. Number 15, Diego Atunas with the kill down the line. And the Cougs answer right back with Matt Panala. Quick side out. One ball, that's all they need. Now he's back to serve. See what he can do. Ooh, number 15, Diego Tunis again off the block. Ball sailed a little too high for Jan Lopic. Cougs are out of system. Seems like it doesn't matter now. Matt Pinala gets a quick, easy kill. Back to serve Cameron Daniels. And it is 
for Taylor Daly and the Cougars. And another one for Cameron Daniels. Double services, Cougars! The Cougars are up 14 to 10 right now. Trying to find some separation between Kelly and Matt. And they continue to find the separation from the Crimson Wave. Welcome back. We are still continuing the first set of the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship. Um, we're fresh out of a timeout from Jessica Reyes, the head coach of Calumet. See if she can try to bring her team back into this game. And Shane Oons with the overpass kill. Making sure that they do not come back from the point deficit here. Kimmy Daniels still serving. Number 10, Pedro Castillo with the kill off the block. What a good run by Cameron Daniels. Services just out. Let's see if this Calumet team has some answers for the Cougars. Number eight, Daniel Lopez, finding enough space in the seam just to get it through and get the kill for the Crimson Wave. Back to serve, middle block with Thomas Garvey. Sean Carey with the reception. Jahan with the kill over the block. Back to serve, Christian Oviedo. Cougar bench. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, block touch. Kill for Pedro Castillo. Sean Carey returns to the corner for the Cougars. And Diego Antunes returns to the corner for Calvin and St. Joseph. Good run. Good catch. Ooh. What a good shaky over there. Let's see if the Cougars can kill. Not yet. Crimson Wave is still fighting. Ball is just out. Number 10, Pedro Castillo. Upset with the play. Cougars are struggling to find rhythm with their serve here, but score seems to not reflect that. Ooh. Christian Oviedo with a nice dish to Alessandro Giannotti. Laying down that hammer. Serve over. Well shot from Shane Oons. Matt Pinala in the set. Sean Carey will define some space in the block. And get the kill for the Cougars. 23-15. Let's see if the Cougars can finish it off here. Back set. Sean! Sean able to find some court there. Cougars double dagger. Jessica Reyes. Set point six. I'm going to play for that court. Six, Francis Hall. Francis House. Still able to find some fight left into the Crimson Wave. Back to serve number nine, Braden Richardson. The setter freshman from Belize City, Belize. Gets the serve just right over. And Sean able to find some court there. And the set. We'll be back for the second set.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, set number two is about to begin. Your Cougars lead it. Look up there. Welcome back to another set of the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship against with St. Xavier against Calumet of St. Joseph. The Crimson Wave. <laughs> St. Xavier bench having some fun. The Cougars will now serve. Let's see if Calumet has an answer for the Cougs. Round two, fight. Yano with a very powerful serve to start off the second set. Puts the Crimson Wave and out of system. Crimson Wave cannot get that ball up. Kill for Sean Carey. In the first set, Sean Carey had three kills. Number 11, Thomas Douglas with a smart play off the block. The Crimson Wave tie it up one to one. Number 8, freshman outside hitter Daniel Lopez. Matt Pinala tips over the block, oh, able to find some court. Kills for the Cougars. Matt, the kill leader for the first set with four kills. Pinala signs in. Kills the overpass, takes the free point for the Cougs. Cougs are up 3-1 right now with Andres Velez back to serve. Andres Velez won! Crimson Wave with a little shot. So shook up right now. Let's see what Jessica Reyes can do for them. Set back to number 15, Diego. Back row attack from Jan Lopez. Jan has had quite a year. It's good to see him out playing very well. up from number 10, Pedro Castillo. Mm. Ball was just a little low for Alessandro to able to capitalize on that set. Crimson Wave point. Good pass from Sean Carey. Back set to Jan. Attack is just out of bounds. Cougars are trying to call for a net. Net touch there. Didn't get it, but it doesn't matter. Cougs lead 6-2. to two. Let's see if Matt Pinal can extend that lead here. He does not. That ball came out a little long from Christian. A little low from Matt to do something with. See if he can come back from that.
cover ball, number 10, 12, Gustavo. Matt Pinal gets a kill off the block. Back to serve, Cameron Daniels. Sent to Diego Atunez for the kill off the block. He was the kill leader for the Crimson Wave last set with three kills. Serve over from Francis Hollis. Number nine, Brayden Richardson. Richardson with the block. Standing at just six foot. This save. Crimson Wave have caught up a little bit. Just two points away from tying it up. They have yet to gain a lead over the Cougs in this entire game. Back to serve, Jake McClain. Serve is out of bounds. Cougars making their substitutions. Back to serve is number 10, Pedro Castillo. The fifth year, 6'8 middle blocker from Plainfield, Illinois. Staying local here, out in Chicago for the Cougs. Representing. Christian with the serve. Crimson wave, error, back row, attack. Christian Oviedo with the up. But the crimson wave still managed to kill it. Sean Carey returns to the court for Sydney Senior. Christian Oviedo from California coming all the way out here to Chicago for the Cougs. The shots and body right there. And Drew playing some good defense out there. Just good volleyball. Scores now 12 to 8. Cougars are finding some more separation. <laughs> Number 15, Diego Antunes. Set to Matt Pinala. So, number 15, Diego Antunes. 
bringing the energy to the court for the Crimson Wave. Getting some momentum here. Out of system. Doesn't matter. Sean Carey can start the matter for a swing. Out of bounds. Point Cougars. The Crimson Wave looking for the ball touch there. Could not find it. Went for hands on that one. The Crimson Wave still able to get it back to the Kings, but Matt Pinala. Kills it. Right back over. Matt Pinala again with the call. Back to serve, Andres. No ways. sure who got the block there. Looked like Matt. Still an electric block for the Cougs. Sean. Gary down the line. Cougars five there. for the Cougs. And Jessica Reyes takes her. Welcome back, continuing off the second set of the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship. Andres Vell is back to serve, 17-10. Cougars are leading. Pancake up from Christian Oviedo. But it's not enough for the Cougars as number 15, Diego Antunez, gets the kill. A little misconnection there. Oh, the Kids and Wave still have the serve. Oh, Number six, Francis Hawes, able to find find some court there. The outside hitter, Junior, 6-3 from Belize City. The Crimson Wave not able to get it over. The Cougs lead 18-13 in the second set. Well, they're up one.
overpass. Not sure who the sire was there. Chains up. Down the line. Getting the kill for the Cougs. back number 10 Pedro Castillo with the kill yeah unable to find some there. able to get the kill off the back row attack coming in to serve Cameron Daniels Pedro Castillo able to find some court there. Able to get a kill for the Crimson Waves. The Cougs still lead 20 to 15 in the second set. Francis Hall is back to serve. Well shot over. Quick set to Yon. Not able to get over. Set to Jan Lopric, able to find the kill this time. 21-16, Cougs still lead, up by five. Jake McLean back to serve. Let's see if he can end off this game. Set. A little bit of panic from the Crimson Wave. Good up from number 15, Diego Antunes. Comes away and just get it over barely. That was a little too tight. Jarellos gets the block there. Service out. Cougars make their substitutions. Back to serve is Pedro Castillo. Jan falling back. Still able to get the call. serve he comes away about a system not able to get the ball over Kelly Met's side of the net is silent there's no energy coming through Cougs lead 24-17 as Christian Oviedo tries to close off the set and get it over And they are able to close out this set. 25 17. Goal to the third set. Cougs up 2 to 0.
set number three is about to begin. Your Cougars lead it to nothing. Welcome back to the third set of the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship. Cougars are on. Two to zero. Crimson Wave start off with their serve. Number nine, Brandon Richardson, the freshman. And Cougars quickly side out on the first point. Drew Ellers with the kill. Christian Oviedo dishing out some butter there. Jan Lopic back out to serve. Jan with a heavy arm. And Drew Ellis building a house on Crimson the Crimson Wave. What a block. Extending Jan Lopez's serve run here. Service. Sean Carey with the kill. The Crimson Wave here struggling to find some middle runs. Both middles hitting negative. In with both first and second set. Let's see if they can change that in this third set and turn this game around. Number 11, Thomas Garbuth with the block. Drew Ellers with the kill there. Gave up two points in the process. Attack is out. out of Diego Tunez, the kill leader of that second set with seven kills, hitting percentage of 0.385. Leading his team. Number six, Francis Hawes, able to find support and get the kill for the Crimson Wave. Cougs are up five to three. The Crimson Wave not able to get it back over. Matt Pinala back to serve. The junior outside hitter, 6'4 from Long Beach, California. His previous school was Long Beach City. Has had a lot of experience around volleyball. Able to do a lot for the Cougs. Help them out. Yeah, one Cougars. He's a very versatile player. Can play pretty much any position you throw at him. Andres would be up on defense. Cougs are able to get it back. Over. Brandon Richardson gives it back to Francis Hawes. Looking for a call on the double touch there. And they get the point anyway with a net touch. And Alessandro. 
Number 15, Diego Tunez with the service ace. Two attacks met with some good defense from the Cougs. But it is off the block. And it's a point for the Crimson Wave. The Cougs are up, only one now. The Crimson Wave are catching up. Back set to Matt Pinala. He's able to find the deep corner down line. Freshman from Omaha, Nebraska, able to get a service ace. Score is now 9 to 6, Cougs lead. Serves in the net. Number 6, Francis Hawes is back to serve now. Is able to knock it back down and get the kill for the Crimson Wave. Who's still leading by one? Pedro Castillo. Pedro Castillo. Able to block Alessandro Giannotti and tie it up. We're nine to nine right now. Crimson Wave have a chance. Alessandro says no. Denies Pedro. Jake McLean back to serve. Good serve. Just out. Still tied here, 10 to 10 in the third set. Cougs lead, 2 to 0 in sets. Number 11, Thomas Garbutt. The Crimson Wave have their first lead of the game in the third set, 11 to 10. Coach Tom Ryan of the Cougs is able to call a timeout here, try to regroup his team for the third set.
And we are back for the third set. The Crimson Wave are leading 12 to 10. Let's see what the Cougs can answer with. Ooh. does not get over there. Cook Nation is out here in the Shannon. If you are supporting online and everything, shout out to you guys. Especially Joseph McDonough. Christian Oviedo with the serve. Able to recycle. Number 15, Diego Antunez, down the line, able to get a kill. Still keeping this lead from the Cougs. Crimson Wave, we're in the net there. Still have the lead, 13 to 12. Yan with a powerful serve. Cougars double-backer! It is all tied up again, 13 to 13. Service is just out. Very close there. Francis Hawes is able to find some court there. Getting the kill for the Crimson Wave. Talk it up before the play. The serve is barely over. He's able to get the point there. This is Hodge with the kill. Crimson Wave still holding on to this lead. But Matt Pinala wants it back. Ties it up, 16 to 16. Set the Off the right side. Playing the blocking sub for Christian Oviedo. All the good serve. A little misconnection there. Another misconnection.
picked it up by Jan. Comes away there to get the call. Coach Tom Ryan here trying to get a call. I'm assuming for a net touch. Cougs are upset with that. Refs do not want to argue. Refs are discussing the previous play. Oh. They were just trying to fix the antenna. Christian able to sneak it over. Jan with another up. Number six, Francis Hobbs with a kill. The Crimson Wave still hold on to the lead. Up 18 to 17. Matt Panala tying his shoe. Trying to slow down the Crimson Wave and the momentum. Number 10, Pedro Castillo with the kill. Kings are still a little shook right now. I'm trying to. And he calls a timeout. It's 19 to 17. Crimson Wave are leading. We'll see what they can do. That is Coach Tom Ryan's second timeout of the third set. That is Sancho Chinotti. Crimson Wave upset with that call. Thought Alessandro was in the net. Cameron Day goes back to serve. The Cougs are still down 18 to 9. Patty Met College of St. Joseph still in the lead 20 to 18. Desperate to extend their season here. Still upset about a call. Not too sure what they're arguing here. Francis Hodges is upset with the up ref here. Jake McClain back to serve. Service Ace. They call him Bang Bang Jake McClain for a reason.
Crimson Wave still up 21 to 20 with Pedro Castillo back to serve. Serve barely comes over. Tie it up. John Lopez! Cougars double dagger! Crimson Wave get called on the touch. Jessica Reyes of the Crimson Wave calls a timeout. Her first of the set as the Cougs take back the lead. Welcome back to the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship here with the Cougs and the Crimson Wave as Christian Oviedo tries to close out the set 22 to 21 Cougs lead. He gets a little bit bigger, 23 to 21. Let's see if the Cougs can close it off here. The freshman, Harry Richardson. Service into the net is now 24 to 22. Kelly Bent season is on the line right here. Jessica Reyes calls for second time out. Try to ice Jan Lopic. Shannon Center on their feet. And Jan Lopich ends it with a service ace to win the CCAC Men's Volleyball Championship. And that 
that's a ball game. Season 